Hello and welcome to Talking Hearthstone, the podcast where we talk about Hearthstone. I'm Tito Santana, and this is a special report. It's going to be a short one today. We won't have any gameplay, but I am excited to talk to you about the nerfs that went up a couple hours ago. Well, I'm excited to talk to you. Not that excited about the nerfs. Reno went from 9 mana to 10 mana. Is it worse? Yes. Will it affect play rate? Possibly at first, but I doubt it. Does it make even water better? Sure. This card is going to see play still, and it's still going to feel just as bad. In my opinion, it needs to be reworked entirely, and I, I don't think we're... I think we're going to see that before the year is out, but I don't think it's going to make any change right now from 9 to 10. It Yes, of course, it's worse. It's going to come down a turn late, but I think Control will just use a different tool to keep us in the, in the game and then use Reno Return later. Maybe that's just the pessimist in me talking, but I just don't feel like the mana right here is the problem. Uh, usually these games go that long, and I think they just need to rework the card. Same thing goes for the Zilliax module. It went from 3 to 4. Again, will it affect the play rate? Maybe? The card is still good. It comes down a turn later, yes. But again, you're still going to have to go through it three times because you've usually attacked once with it. So it's still going to have to be hit four times for the most part in order to get through it. Now, having uh, Zilliax with the brightest module, or as is popularly known, Kiliax, um, is a big reason why Yogg is in the meta right now in many decks to basically steal your opponent's uh, Kiliax, and then they steal it back or whatnot. So um, I think that this card is still going to be played. I think it's still going to be good. Again, is it worse? Technically, yes. One mana is one mana. But um, I think what they really need to do is rework this card, and I think they're going to do that before the year is done. I think what you do is you either take Reborn and move it off, or you even make this card almost a little better as far as a reactive clearing tool is if you take the Divine Shield off because then you can kill two different things with it on the same turn. And I think it's a, a better play experience than having to run through it four times. So is it is it worse? Yes. Is it going to make a difference? I'm not entirely sure. Celestial Projectionist is moving from two to three. Mostly you saw this card in Rogue or for Giants or Painlock for Giants. So basically it was kind of a giant enabler. You also saw it in some Druid decks to do some Druidy things. Um, but what moving it up uh, mana from two to three is kind of helping for non-games. I'm fine with this change. I don't think we're necessarily uh, doing anything crazy if we are allowing them to wait an extra turn. And it's probably not even going to matter all that much in these decks um, because usually you're at turn, say, four or five when they start dropping all those giants. Now, I'm actually under the impression, or not that I have any source for this, but I think personally that they're also nerfing this because this might have had some interaction in the Perils in Paradise set um, that they did not want to see. So I'm expecting that maybe this had a dual purpose of this nerf, one, to kind of prevent those non-games that we talked about, and two, for something that they didn't want to see happen. So that's the patch. Let's talk about standard. Um, I'm still below 5,000, and I'm flirting I was flirting closer to 6,000 most of the day yesterday, but we had a nice strong finish, and we got back in the in the 4,000. So there's only a few days left. Um, I'm not going to... I could probably just camp and, and hit my goal, but we're not going to do that. The best way to become better at any level that you're playing is to play at that level and get more comfortable. And that's what we're going to do. Maybe, we, maybe we'll end up over 5,000, which is not what we want, but it's fine. Um, we're going to play. We're going to keep getting better. We were already much better than we were last month, and we're going to continue on that forward. Our giveaway is still going on. You can email the show at talkinhearthstone at gmail.com. That's T-A-L-K-I-N hearthstone at gmail.com. And just suggest a deck for a future episode. Uh, the time and date of our drawing is being shifted due to the fact that I'm all of a sudden working until 10 p.m. that day. So uh, I'm going to figure that out. It might be 11 o'clock that night. It might be at on Sunday afternoon. Good news is you don't have to be present for the drawing. In fact, it might even give you more time to get entries in. So I will tweet out on uh, Tito Santana HS on Twitter when that date has been resolidified. So I apologize in advance, but unfortunately, sometimes you just got to work. Um, so speaking of the job, I don't know how this is going to affect my schedule. Now, I said that I'm going to keep 
episodes on Tuesdays, just last episode. And I said, and you're thinking right now, you just promised me, Tito, an episode every Tuesday. Well, yes, I plan on holding to that. I might just end up recording them live on stream and I'll tweet out the days that I plan on doing that. So if you really want to see it live, you can see it live. Um, uh, I'm committed to bringing you up to date on the information you deserve. And if you're here for that, I'll, I'll, I'm happy. And I hope you're enjoying it. So, yes, I plan on committing to that. I might record on Sunday night or Monday. I want to be rec I want these released as quickly as possible. So the news you get is as up to date as I have, especially when we're talking about things like this. So um, let's talk about the a few upcoming episodes uh, for the reveal season. I'm playing around with how to cover each class. I think we have lots of time between now and the release in mid to late July. So I'm not going to try to over press information into one episode. So right now my plan is to try to cover uh, one class per episode and just kind of go over what, what I think is going to change, what I think is good, what I think is bad. I'm not always going to be right. No one ever is, but I'd love to hear your opinions. In fact, anytime I say anything and you don't agree with it, let me know politely, please. Uh, but I will be covering mage in the next episode. So I'm looking forward to that. Like I said, this is going to be a short episode. So you can follow me on Twitter and Twitch at Tito Santana HS. Uh, I will provide links to the Trevor Project uh, donations through AFG. You can donate there to gain 10 entries into my Perils in Paradise giveaway, courtesy of Blizzard, courtesy of Amber Flight Gaming. Um, thanks again to Blizzard and AFG and Dragon Rider for giving me this opportunity. I am very appreciative. By the way, this Friday at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, excuse me, this Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, on my stream at Tito Santana HS, we will be having Judge on, the Arena Master, and he will be teaching me how to be a little bit better at Arena. There will be drinks, so if you are a adult, I suggest that you join us if you like to, um, obviously responsibly, but uh, we're going to be having some fun and um, playing some Arena, so I hope to see you there. Well, I guess I'm done talking. Have a great day.